Hey, super awesome stampers. This is super awesome stamper Shirley. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I would like to share how I created this background on this card, so let's get started. The stamps are from the Another Thank You Photopolymer stamp set, found on page 115 of our catalog. And I used our largest clear block and I mounted five stamps on one side in the pattern that I chose. And the easiest way to ink a large clear block is to set the block on the table and just dab the ink pad all over it until you see that the image is inked appropriately. And I have my Tangerine Tangle cardstock on top of our paper piercing mat because that helps the ink transfer evenly when we're using the photopolymer stamps. So there's that. And then I also did filled in the bottom with just part of this stamp. And then you notice on the sample I have little tiny acorns. And it's this little tiny acorn stamp. It came out of the Wickedly Sweet Treat Paper Pumpkin Kit, which is a monthly subscription. You can subscribe and get paper crafting kits sent right to your snail mail box. And the kits are, I would say, seasonal and trendy. So we got the Wickedly Sweet Paper Pumpkin in September, and this is what that kit created. These are the stamps that we got with it, so there's a little acorn. So I thought it worked perfectly for fitting or filling in the open space on this image. Okay, let's move that out of the way. I'm going to fold it back. All right, I used the framelit. Lots of labels. So the old olive, I used that size. The pattern paper from Into the Woods, I used that size. And this little one is from the smallest one. That's right, right there. And then I would like to show you two different ways to attach my ribbon. Daffodil Delight cotton ribbon and then the Baker's Twine Gold cut at about four and a quarter inches. So here I use tear and tape to adhere. Here I use some fast fuse, both for both adhesives. I put the adhesive down first and then wrap the ribbon around it and then put adhesive back over it. So we're gonna attach the tear and tape. I've already stamped a little acorn on this tiny framelit, attached a knot of gold baker's twine with the glue dot. And then since we need to get some height to get around the Baker's Twine that's on the card, we're going to put a quarter or half of a dimensional up there. There's that. Inside of the card, I just stamped the thank you, which is also in that sta same stamp set, and two acorns. And that's it. Quick and cute thank you card for uh, your Thanksgiving hostess. Make a few and send them to a few friends to thank them too. So thanks for watching. This is Super Awesome. Stand for Shirley. Bye.